All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the back nine out at Heiser Creek Disc Golf Course. Like I said, this is a private property dedicated to disc golf. So far, it's really beautiful, and I'm sure this back nine will not disappoint either. So here we are, hole 10, about 300, foot par 3, straight uphill. We're going to take this construct and try to bomb it up there. Ooh. Wow, what an awful shot. Alright, so this is where the construct landed. Let's have a long way to the basket uphill. We're going to take the tempo and try to swing it outside this tree. Go! Oh, just got hung up in the branches. We'll have a long par putt. Ready? Time to see if we can catch this long uphill putt. Don't straddle. With the height. Not fade. Oh, yes. Let's go. What a putt. Alrighty, hole 11, 150 feet. Par 3, straight ahead. Goldenberg. Forehand. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Birdie. All day. Looky here, folks. Absolutely parked it. Alrighty. Hold 12. 711 feet. Par 4. You got this big bomber open fairway, and then it goes into that little tiny gap over there. We're gonna go time lapse off the tee and just let her rip. <sighs> Slight headwind. Go. It's right around the 450 mark. We're gonna have a, maybe a tough up and down for the bird here. Alrighty, so we landed just past the 400 foot mark. We're gonna take my tempo and just try to blitz it through the gap right there. Flat. It is a tailwind, so maybe a smidge of anhyzer. Or yank it so far right. And get absolutely lucky through it all. Holy crap. That was so lucky. We have a birdie puff, folks, believe it or not. Alright, folks. Well, this is how lucky we got. We have literally a 15, 20 footer for the bird. After grip locking it straight to Jupiter. And we can capitalize. Wow, you take them when you get them, but it doesn't make you less surprised. Alrighty, hole 13, 212 feet, par 3. We're going to go with this deflector, and it's straight through this gap and up to the right on the hill. Just like that. Should be a birdie. Alrighty, so this deflector absolutely parked for the birdie. Brings us, I believe, to three or four down. So we are cruising. Alright, full 14, 303 foot, far four. Gonna go up this hill and along this tree line going to the left. We're going to take the dune, try and maybe flip it up into this inside gap. If we yank it into the right, if we yank it into the right. That's perfect. Yep. Absolutely perfect. Peach. Alright, so we have a 7,500 foot up shot. 
gap down the street, or I could come out and try to get it. Frank is here, but we're still gonna, we're still gonna give it a go down the street gap. Well, that's a for sure birdie anyway, so nice to be able to give it a run. Guys, we are on an absolute heater right now. We are five down through 14 and cruising. Let's go. Alrighty, hole 15, 544 foot par four. If you see the 421 foot sign, there's a gap to the left of it. That's where the basket is. Have to get this out flat, punch it through. T box is very slick once again, so it's going to be a short run up and probably won't get too far. I might as well disc up the destroyer. Oh, so bad. Okay. Right. It did not. I was so scared of the seat pad. Alright, guys. I was searching for five minutes in those woods over there because I thought a hazard in them. And here we are, right uh, left center of the fairway. We have a look at the gap. I mean, we're going to take this tempo and try Shot again. Alright, it's a pretty terrible shot. Um, we have a very stained gap. I'm gonna take this up there and do it again. Mike did die again, so just bear with me. I gotta remember the second mic. He shall not come. Here we are. I'm gonna try and punch it through the skinny gap and hopefully we can get lucky. I said, you know what? We're gonna do a forehand roller straight through the gap. That might have worked really well. All right guys, so it ended up working really well. We're just over there with about a 30, 35 footer for the par. We're gonna try and cap it. Got it. All right guys, hole 16 is a 451 foot par five. It's gonna snake downhill then go right, and it's gonna be literally in a creek. So when we get down there, I'll show you. But we're gonna take this wave and try to flex it around. Got it. I'll kick this right so we'll have a chance, maybe for the eagle. All right guys, so we are right there and the basket is down this gap, downhill and kind of to the right. So we're gonna try and punch through with a slower speed disc. Alrighty. So we have an extremely downhill shot. So we're gonna try to go with the bird. You can kind of see it by those rocks over there. I'm right there. We're gonna try and chip it up for the bird. Should be a birdie if it didn't skip off that rock and go OB. Alrighty, as you can see, basket in the creek, my dear, over there. We got about a 15, 20 footer for the birdie. Hopefully we can make it.
just right side. And that, fortunately, is gonna be a par. Alright guys, yes, my phone did die, um, very tragic, um, but I'll take you through what happened the last couple holes. So you just saw my shot on 17, my tee shot, um, there's a gap off to the left, and I tried hitting it, came out a little early, and laid up, took the par. And moved on to 18. 18 is a straight tunnel shot. I'll put a picture up so you can see it. Um, laced the gap. Barked it for the birdie. And we finished four down and five down between the front and the back nine. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed Heiser Creek Disc Golf Cars. Um, I really did. It was very beautiful. Had a great time. Um, you know, it was just me on the course. It was very peaceful. Had a great time. Um, so I definitely recommend it if you live in the area. Um, but that's going to be it for now. Make sure you check out Upper Park Disc Golf. Use my code down in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.